Hey guys, Brandon with Whiskey River, it's Whiskey River Weekly. So, you guys mentioned that it's okay to make long videos for the Whiskey River Weekly, so that's what I'm doing. And it's just gonna be a bunch of rambling on about updates, but we do have a bunch of stuff happening at Whiskey River. We've been having some slower weeks with not as many projects, but it feels like whenever that happens, it's kind of this accordion effect, and we just get piled on all of a sudden. And that's this week. So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about handle blanks, I'm gonna talk about axe bells, I'm gonna talk about Cleaning the Corners auction, a purple art handle auction, and then the auction of all auctions. Best auction of the year so far uh, as well. So that's what we got. Axe bells first, let's do with that. Walnut, curly maple, poplar, white oak. These are all in stock right now on the website. Uh, you guys were like, hey, we need special, we want special wood, we don't just want poplar, we wanna be able to stain it. Boom, here we go. We got them for you. Um, this uh, walnut is a little light in color right now, but when you do stain it, it darkens up. I mean, all of these do. The, the white oak will darken up as well. Um, and the figure in the curly maple will come out when you oil them, but we don't oil them before sending them to you. These are, this is a project for you. A lot of folks have been like, how do we oil them? I put it in a spray bottle, like a, like a hairspray bottle, just, you know, and then wipe it in between with a rag. It's very hard to like, put it on a rag and do it. Um, so that's the easiest way to oil them. But these are all back on the website. We just got the curly maple and the white oak uh, in stock right here. Uh, two big crates of them. And uh, I'm excited to have you guys that have been waiting for these special ones, uh, get one for yourself. Next thing is uh, handle blanks. You want to turn? Check it out. Check it out. We got a bunch of hickory. This is all hickory. These are all hickory boards. Most of them are 36 inch length. We do have some shorter lengths, limited quantities available, but uh, on those, but those sell fast. They're a super good deal. If you don't have hickory in your area or you don't have a, a wood supply company uh, in your area, let us help you out. Get them in a, we can get them in a box, get them checked to you. They come right to your door. You don't have to like try to select or, you know, whatever. Now, obviously it's wood. We don't, we try our best to keep them as premium as possible, but there are, there is gonna be run out, there is gonna be voids, there's other things. So don't just buy one and be like, this is gonna make the best ax handle I've ever had. Um, if we were doing that, we would have to get rid of 60%. Like if we were worried about every little thing or the grain not being perfectly straight, we'd have to get rid of 60% of that, which would mean that we would have to raise the price three times. So um, this is not practical. We wanna keep our costs low on this. Um, so what a lot of folks have been doing is they've been buying five, six, seven, eight of them at a time, and then we ship them to them. So check those out. Um, auctions, auctions was the next thing I was talking about. Purple heart handle auction. This is a, uh, 14 inch handle, hatchet handle, purple, non oiled. So you guys can finish it however you would like. We have an auction going on on bid.whiskeyrivertrading.com right now that is uh, is live. We actually have two live auctions. One ends tomorrow. That's a cleaning the corners auction. Has a bunch of random stuff in it, all really cool stuff. Uh, and then this purple heart handle auction is live as well. Here's a 30C in purple heart. Limited quantities available on these too, right? Like we don't have piles and piles of purple heart to be turning handles out of, but I'm super glad we did because these things turned out awesome. So. Check those out, put your bids in. If you're not on our auction site, you better be. You better get on there, get registered to bid because we're trying to do auctions weekly. Um, that's just the plan. We got some draw knives in the Cleaning the Corners auction that ends tomorrow. This, uh, these were sharpened by uh, Eli Arnold. Super razor sharp. It's hard to probably pick up on the camera, but these are users. Super sharp, but they're not like perfect, right? Like the, the handles might not be perfect or, or you know, there might be a little bit of surface rust on it or whatever, but they're razor sharp and ready to use how they are. So if you're looking for a very simple restoration project for a uh, draw knife that's like 80% there, we got you covered. I think we got five of them in there right now. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, next update is I just bought a collection that makes the Washington collection, if you remember that collection, look, um, look, uh, you know, not as great as 
we do in the past. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but the Washington Collection, this is on par, if not better than the Washington Collection. I know you guys got excited about the Washington Collection. That was a lot of West Coast patterns. That was a lot of, um, you know, nice stamped stuff. This is a lot of Tassies, Connies, Finnish collared axes, um, some collectible stuff like uh, we got a salesman sample head in there. Um, we got some cleavers, draw knives, spoke shaves, um, some hammers and adds. Just lots and lots and lots of things. We can actually scan over to this palette here. This is the collection. We just got done tagging it today. I know it's hard to tell what's in here, but you know, washboard, a set of three spoke shaves, some giant cleavers, and a bunch of heads, a bunch of, uh, you know, here's a, here's a nice embossed head right here. So that will be, uh, we'll be announcing that with a video here soon. That will be an auction that we're going to be doing in two parts. The first uh, part will end live because we're going to do a live ending just like we did with the Washington collection. Um, and that will end live on March 30th. So we're just going to be running around like crazy trying to get photographs and descriptions written up and get the back end of that auction ready. Um, so bidding will open up about a week before the 30th for you guys to start bidding. And then we'll, it'll be a live ending with me playing auctioneer come the 30th. So that's super exciting. Uh, we had a mystery head drop earlier this week. We're trying to get more mystery heads in to do more mystery head drops. So I know a lot of you folks have been like waiting for mystery heads to come in because you like that product. Uh, we just don't have them. We got to start buying more. We got to start buying more collections. So. Uh, on that note, if you or someone you know does have an axe collection that they would like to sell, I'm I'm buying axe collections between 20 and 1,000 axes, maybe more. I don't know. I've never bought 1,000 axes at a time, but, you know, this one was 160-something, uh, and it was all higher-end stuff. Shoot, shoot us an email. Uh, we just made an axe sell us your collection form at the bottom of, the pay, uh, of our webpage on whiskeyrivertrading.com. You can go there and fill out a form and it will email us that and then we can go through the process of uh, asking questions, further questions and getting photographs and all that. So, um, yeah. So even if you don't wanna sell your whole collection and you're just like, well, there are some things that I'd like to unload, we can make that easy on you and help you out. Uh, that way you don't have to piece it out because nobody likes piecing it out. Well, that's my offer on that. If you uh, have any questions on that, feel free to hit me up in the email, brandon at whiskeyrivertrading.com, and uh, we can talk. So that's it. I guess uh, no more updates. Thanks for uh, your support this week, and see you next week. Be good, guys.